How's it guys? I'm really excited today. We're going to be launching our new studio. We finally moved into our new studio. That is why I haven't posted in such a long time. So I do apologize for that. But thank you for waiting. And this is our new studio. Uh, we took it from an underground workshop that uh, was an absolute nightmare. It was an absolute mess. We dumped everything, cleaned out, repainted, put up a new wooden wall, and uh, this is our new studio. So we're really excited about it. Leave down in the comments below what you think of the videos and let me, I mean of the, uh, the studio, and let me know. What I'm going to talk to you about today is E-Steps. Now, what is E-Steps? Well, the E-Steps is when your printer, your, your extruder does a step, a rotation of the, of the stepper motor, it's how many millimeters it steps out. Uh, it pushes out the bottom of the, the extruder. Now, the problem is that sometimes this value is not 100% correct, and then you get things like under extrusion or over extrusion, which causes uh, clogged nozzles and stuff like that. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a very simple method in order to set your e-steps on your printer. Now, I've written a little program on my website that you can go check out. I'll put the link below. That makes this a lot easier. But if you want to do it manually, I will tell you how to do that as well. So let's get going and get started. So the first thing we need to do is heat up our hot end. Now, the hot end has to be heated up in order for uh, the extruder to work. Otherwise, the extruder won't turn. There are ways around that. But for now, let's just do a hot end heat up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat the end of the, um, of the nozzle uh, for PLA, just to get it up to temperature. While we wait for this heat up, to heat up, what you're gonna need is some way to measure the amount of extruded filament. Um, and I think the best way to do that is with a vernier. These are the best. So you can also use a ruler. Just try to get as accurate as possible to get to the desired length. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push through 100 millimeters through the extruder and then measure it afterwards and see how much has actually extruded to see that we're getting the right amount. So the first thing we'll need to do is just to take our Bowden tube out. So I'm just gonna push down here and I'm gonna pull our Bowden tube out. Okay, so the pull the Bowden tube out, this makes it the easiest way for you to measure. So you measure from this side as it's extruded. I'm just gonna push a little bit through just to clean up the nozzle and uh, so that we have some fresh and then i'm going to take my my um, side cutters i'm going to cut flush against the um the the button tube i just want to make sure that that's out properly there we go let's just trim this again right now that the temperature is up we're going to use a program called Pronterface. Now, you can use other programs like you can use Cura, you can use Octoprint, but Pronterface is a nice little interface to easily uh, talk to the, to the printer. So what we're going to do is I've downloaded Pronterface, I'll put the link below in the description, and I'm going to select the port that my printer is connected to, and I'm going to press connect. You'll notice as soon as you do that, the printer resets, and now you have to go and set your temperatures again. So let's quickly do that. We'll go and we'll prepare the PLA, preheat PLA, end. There we go. Now it gets back up to temperature. Now, if you look at the screen here, on the right-hand side, I've got my website, which is the E-Steps page, which calculates your E-Steps for you. This is a really simple way of doing things. It takes the guesswork out and uh, easily referenceable and carry on working from them. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to extrude 100 millimeters out of the front of this uh, button tube. So let's do that. In order to do that, you type G1, E100, F100, like you see on the web page there, and you press enter. What you'll see is that the filament will start to extrude out of the end, and it'll try extrude 100 millimeters based on the current E-steps calculation. So we just wait for this to to extrude out. There is another way to do this while we're waiting for this to extrude. You could also do it via the Marlin um, on your actual printer by just going and extruding 100 millimeters and then going setting the E-steps in there. But I promise you it's really difficult if your E-steps are way out to count up as far as you need to go in order to get to the next higher number. So say it was 95 and you want to get to 104, it takes a lot of revolutions of this little knob here to, uh, to count up. So while this is extruding, we'll wait for that to finish extruding. It's nearly there. So as you can see, we've almost got 100 mils out and 
we are done. That's extruded approximately 100 mils. So let's go and check what that is. I'm going to zero my vernier and let's get this to measure as close as possible. All right, so in my current setting, I'm over extruding by quite a long way. So I'm getting 108.65 millimeters. So in order to do the calculation, go to the web page, type in 100 for how much we wanted to extrude, and we got 108.64, right? Um, now we need to get what our current e-steps on our, our printer is. In order to do that, on the page it says type M503, M503, and you'll see a whole bunch of numbers come up. What we're looking for is the line that says e M92X whatever, whatever, whatever. And you'll see the last one says E104.28. So we're gonna type that in here, 104.28, and we are going to calculate. And it calculates our new E-steps. I'm sorry about the rounding there. I'll fix that in post-release. Uh, before you get it, that rounding will be fixed. So you see that the new E-steps are 96.5555555, right? So let's just go and grab the first three of those. And I'm going to copy this and it will now set the new E-steps on the printer. Once you've done that, you type M500 and that will save your settings to your printer. So now if I type M503 again, you'll see that my new E-steps on M92 is 96.55. So as you can see, it's really simple to set. You can then extrude another 100 millimeters the exact same way. And if it's still off a little bit, you can use the website to do the calculations and get the correct uh, length of your, of your print. I mean, of your extrusions. And that should make your extrusions a lot better. The main reason we're doing this is because when we reloaded our firmware, the firmware has a sort of like an idea of what your extruder is. But if you've got a different type of extruder or what the, uh, the, the Marlin uh, TH3D uh, uh, firmware thinks it is, uh, it will be, it could be off. So this is the best way to test and this is the best thing to do when you've changed your firmware or you've upgraded your firmware in any way, do a E-steps calculation and make sure everything is 100%. So guys, that's it for this video. Really simple. Have a look at the website. It's really easy. Um, the calculation to enter the E-steps, just to, you know, just to, so you understand how the calculation works, uh, is it is your desired length divided by your measured length, okay, you calculate that first, and then you multi multiply by your current E-steps. So you'd have to put that first part in brackets as in bomb desk with your, what you learned at school. You put that into brackets and then you multiply it by your E-steps and that'll give you your new E-steps. Use the website, it's a lot easier and hopefully uh, everything is all good there. Guys, thank you for watching. Please. Give me a like for the studio if you like what you're seeing here and also a like for the video. You can't give me two likes, so please don't press it twice because it'll unlike, but you can always press the, un, the not like twice if you want to. If you're not subscribed, then subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. God bless you. That's it for today. Check back soon for more videos. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. This helps us understand what you would like to see. If you want to see more of our videos, consider subscribing to our channel and press the notification icon to be notified when a new video comes out. Post comments, let us know what you want to see. Tell us if you like this video or if there's any other subject matter that you would like to see. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. We buy everything ourselves in this channel and really want to grow this channel. God bless you guys, love you guys, and see you soon. Cheers.